Hey there, are you trying to figure out how to mark your products as out of stock on BigCommerce? You're in luck in this video. I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I am an e-commerce developer, a store owner just like you, and I run the e-commerce growth uh, private community for store owners. And I'll leave a link afterwards if you want to join that. It's completely free. Hang out with some of us. And every week I post more e-commerce videos. So if you find this one useful, subscribe and hit the the bell. All right, let's talk about showing inventory is out of stock. Share my screen. All right, so this product right here, test shirt, dollar. Let's first of all, we gotta we gotta have to track inventory in big commerce in order for it to be out of stock, right? Because it can't be out of stock if there's no stock being recorded over here. All right, so once we mark it as track inventory then it will let us say how many stock do we want to have of this we have 15 units my low stock let's say low stock is 10 so this is when we are considering it getting down to getting down to uh the minimums right but we have 15 right now 10 is considered low stock and we're going to just leave this as tracking inventory on the variant level now uh, if I come back here, you'll see no change because it's not out of stock, All right? Now, if we mark this as zero now, then we come back to the front end and it's marked as out of stock. Now you probably got this far because this is, this is how it works on a simple product, right? You either have stock or you don't have stock. It's very cut and dry. If you don't have stock, it'll say out of stock and it will hide the add to cart button. But what happens if you have variants? Let me just add a variant to this and say we have size and change it to rectangle. And we have small, medium, and large, right? So if I click save, come back to the front end, no real change. Now, why is that, right? We have small, medium, and large, but it says that it's out of stock. Now, the reason for that is while we created these child SKUs, we still have this tracked on the product level and we have zero of the product. So this is saying, you know, this whole test shirt is is one unit of product as opposed to the small being one, one unit, the medium being one unit and the large being one unit. So we actually need to change this to be tracked on the variant level because that's what makes sense. And now if we come back down here, you can see that it is giving us stock values that we can put in for each variant so i'm going to put those in click save come to the front end and still not marked as out of stock we can add small we can add medium now large says out of stock if we select it but until we select it it might as well be in stock right so it's kind of marked as out of stock let's say that but I think that you guys are watching this video because you want to be more obvious. If this works for you, then great. You're good right out the gate. Let me show you um, the secret sauce, though. In the back end, if you go to advanced settings and then inventory, now you see the inventory settings. And this is the hardest place to remember that it's here because it just seems like it should be maybe like in the store settings and the display or whatever. And... It's not, it's got its own tab and it's buried under advanced settings. So you can see here when the product is out of stock, it gives us some options. These are mostly referring to whether or not it shows up on the category page and whether it shows on the product page. But because we're using variants now, we're tracking, uh, we're tracking inventory by variants or options, a variant is a type of option. We're gonna use this one here, which says when an option is out of stock, now we have a couple new options, right? Don't do anything is by default. Mark it, mark the option as out of stock is another one. I'm going to save that. We'll come back here and refresh it. And look what it did. It gave us a cross out here on the large one to say that that's out of stock. And if we click it, it gives us an out of stock message and disables the cart. But we have that extra visual visual cue showing that it's out of stock before we ever try and click it. Now we can also come in the back and say, hide the option altogether. 
click save and you'll see that actually just removes it from the product page altogether so it's not technically marked as out of stock but it's not gonna be a problem since people can't see it anyway so those are kind of your options on how to mark something as out of stock um, you can also say uh, let's see you can also like if you're not tracking it by variant you might also want to consider the show low stock let me just put this back to say we have five units we're going to say low stock is 10 so we are under the low stock threshold now let me just click save go back to the front end so this right here is showing now because in the inventory settings uh we're gonna we uh, let's see we have oh right down here right down here under stock level only show stock levels when stock is low so this is set to don't show stock levels by default but you can change it to say show stock levels when it's low or show stock levels all the time if you want that really only works i believe with the product level inventory so those are kind of your options uh, if you found this helpful hit the like button and be sure to join our community of store owners at joinecommercegrowth.com <laughs> if you need a developer to help you with your store and keep in mind what i showed you guys in this video is the default options is built in um, but you know knowing that we can get we can change the output on the page based on whether or not you have stock that really opens us up to do all kinds of stuff with javascript and, and whatnot so if you need something that's not showing here you might want to reach out to these guys epic design labs uh, for some development we can at least talk about what you need and what you're trying to accomplish and see if we can find a way um, i'm always looking for new content so if you guys have anything that you're stuck on if you have any questions if there was something i didn't answer in this video leave me a comment below and that might end up being my next video and Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.